thanks to the trucks that are too tall to go under it. Now folks in Enid are wondering what's being done to keep it from happening over and over again. News Channel 4's Abby Broyles took our mobile newsroom to Enid for the story. At 11 feet 4 inches tall, not many trucks clear the infamous East Main Bridge. The crashes were so common, city leaders even painted jaws on the bridge, hoping it would catch truck drivers' attention. But the crashes have continued, making the bridge so well known it now has its own Facebook page where it's referred to as a local celebrity. Its address at Railroad in Maine, its hours always open. Picture after picture show you all kinds of trucks that have been eaten by the structure. Just about every every kind of truck in town has hit it. We've had coat trucks, um, trucks full of all kinds of stuff. Curtis Tucker with Enid Buzz tells us the East Main Bridge is always a top story on his website. A recent video has catapulted the number of visitors, and here's why. A woman started recording one night when the semi was headed toward the bridge. Even with flashing lights to the side, and a warning about the low clearance, the truck driver tries to clear the bridge, but it's demolished. When I saw the video, I just couldn't believe it. My jaw dropped. The video's gotten nearly half a million views on Tucker's website. I don't want to see anybody hurt. I mean, up until now, it's been kind of fun and games. And I, I think with the video, you can see how violent, you know, the, the hit is. Now some are asking, is there something city leaders can do, whether it's adding speed bumps or more signage, to stop these big, dangerous messes from becoming a trend? The truck companies are out all that money. The city has to send people out. You know, the railroad has to send people out to look at the bridge. Abby Broyles reporting that street isn't even a truck route, but still lots of semis seem to...